Hi violas, in this video I'm going to go over the alto clef and I'm going to name all the lines and spaces. Starting with our lines, going from bottom to top, our first line is F, then A, C, E, and G. So you can come up with a sentence to help you remember those lines, but most viola players just remember face G to remember the lines from bottom to top. Now our spaces fill in the notes that are in between the lines. So between F and A, we have the letter G. Between A and C, we have B. Between C and E, we have D. And between E and G, we have F. So G, B, D, F are our spaces. In the music alphabet, we only have seven letters. So we start on A, B, C, D, E, and we go up to G. And if we need to keep going higher, we go to the next octave A and B and so on. So that's why you only see seven different letters in the music alphabet. And when you're counting up your music staff, um, if you start, if you have a note here on G and you go to the very next line, you're just going up one letter in the alphabet, but you have to remember that it starts back over at A. So we go from G to A. Um, say I'm on this top line right here and I want to go down to the very next space. I just go down one letter in the alphabet, so I count down from G to F. So that's some, a way that you could just memorize where one note is on your alto clef, and then use that to help you figure out the rest of them. If you have a big skip, say we go from this line all the way up to this space. If I know that this is A, then I can go B and C, and then find that that one's D. Okay, so this is our alto clef.